I'm here for the RV show. Gay 10, thank you. But that didn't work out. That didn't work out. Did you have signs? $20. But at least we have the coupon, so. Oh, well, yeah, for the. It cancels uh, out. Yeah, uh -huh. most of it. Hello. Hello. Do we pay here? Uh, what are you here for? I'm here for the RV show. Okay. Go ahead and go on in because there's not a fee until after 12. Oh! Nice. It. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Yes. Well, look at that. Oh, look at that. Early bird gets the worm. Ah. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. One ticket free, free park in Luis Alver. Like you're happy. Like you're it. happy. I like it. <laughs> so we made it to the RV show in Houston. And let me tell you, it looks super busy. It's supposed to open up at 12. There seems to be a lot of people out here already. And uh, we are parked pretty close. Let's see what happens. And Joaquin is there hanging out. He's gonna be my co-pilot for this park. We bought a handy dandy measuring tool so we can let you guys know if there's any tables there, maybe the width of some stuff, like the openings on certain storages, maybe I don't know the sink. I don't know. I don't know. Red carpet event. Come, babe. Walk in the red carpet. Walk in the red carpet. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I do. It looks like we might be standing in line for a bit, but it's okay because they open at 12 and we kind of had a little sneak peek. It looks really nice. And it's not, this is an RV show that is um more of dealerships not manufacturers so we'll see how that goes <laughs> i love getting discounts absolutely love getting discounts if it's free it's me i want to i want to spend the least amount of money the rest of my life good morning here's my print out uh, all right. I was gonna ask a silly question, but I can't ask it now. You guys offer veterans discounts? No. I'm going in for free anyway. Thank you, sir. Tried. So that's that is already a long line. Long line. Long line. But according to Massibum, we can enter through E, B, or C. So we're gonna go through D. Because we're gonna go through D. Yeah. Why not? That's probably why they have three entrances so yes. people can spread out yes. not all conglomerate I like one. it and you know what that also does to us it lets us see the showcases of the venue oh they have Monster Jam February 11 Joaquin would love that no he wouldn't El Toro Loco alright this line looks a lot nicer than the other lines <laughs> Where do we start? Uh, let's see the map. This is humongous. I'm gonna show you right. I'm gonna show you just us standing here. This is just the entrance. Look, it's huge, huge. So I don't even think we're gonna have time to go through all of them, but we'll try our best to do all of them for you guys. All right. So don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom of the page. All right, guys. I'm gonna go check this one out. All right. This is the Integra. This is like a, a van life situation. Black seats over here. Nice. It's a kitchen. Hello. Oh. 
<laughs> kitchen counter is tight. Yeah. It's on top, I guess it drops. It drops. I don't know what this will be like a garage situation. I guess. That's tight. It's, it's really, really room. tight. Oh god, it's a bathroom closet. Uh, we would never be able to live here. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> Do me Never. a favor. Yeah. Measure this guy right here. Like the width. The like from here to there. To the end of it. Looks like 35 inches. 35 inches, very nice. And then the width over here. 18 inches. Wow, that's tiny. That it's tiny. Is tight. Like, it's tight. Yeah. Well, I wonder how much this one is. 158. Whoa, almost fell. 158, guys. And that's the first one that we see. This is 24. Four nine eight eight. Let's take a look. Okay. All right. Oh, I like this part right here. It's got a little coat hanger section. Is it? Is this another bed that opens up? I like this. This floor plan actually makes it very spacious looking. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh, but that's a tiny bed. It's a full, right? That's definitely not a queen. I don't know. Whoa. So does that have um, the closet thingies? It does. This looks like a full and it has a storage up there too. Mm -hmm. You want to open that up or should I go over there? Let the bed bus. It's probably a queen. I don't, queen. Well, let's measure it. That's a lot of storage. Measure from that side. On the... <clears throat> 71. 71. And then this side over here. You want to hold that for me over there, Paige? And then this right here is... 60. So no, this is a full. Our queen is 80. 80 by 60, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. The shower looks pretty good. Um, it has storage underneath. Oh, it has a wood panel. Wood That's panel. Like, it don't look like storage. Okay. But the whole door situation here, horrible. Yeah, that's uh, actually from the top. Can you hold this, please, for me? Right for me, don't need this thing. This is about 70 inches, well, 71 inches. So, that's about six feet. Um, I don't like the door situation. It doesn't even close the actual bathroom. Right? Oh, well, I guess you close this. Okay. Bye. Hi. Okay, well, once it's closed, the bathroom is ginormous. Yeah. If you don't mind, it's smart. It's a smart way of making this work. Okay, on this RV, I forgot what it was called, but the one thing I don't like about it is the doors. Um, I don't know. I'm not much of a door person inside of a small RV and the kitchen looks weird. I'm gonna go ahead and measure them out so we can see the measurement. Okay, what do you think? I mean, I think it's smart the way they did the bathroom. I don't know if you remember. I think the bathroom is right here in the hallway. Yeah. So you're not really having guests or anything. The fridge is pretty big. Uh, I like the dinette, how they did it like a U and all this counter space here. Something that we lack on our current RV and we're mm -hmm. just wanting and uh, I think the driveway is um, 4100 mm -hmm. um, I think this probably turns into a bed too yeah open that guy up over there 
Is that a convection oven? Yeah, it's got plenty of space. Yeah. And uh, that's where the TV goes. That's silly. Or over here. Yeah. It's probably a tiny one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a nice Just one. Just measure the, the counter space. So it's at about 21 and a half. And we're not going to do Yeah. And this guy right here is about 20 and a half. And the long way, a long way all the way up to there, is... Oh, well, 52, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, you can definitely cook a rulos here. Absolutely. Something and nice. And you also have the table. Which spins a rulos. Uh -huh. Nice. Need a lot of room here to dance. Let's <laughs> try one here. 3,234 pounds. 21. Uh, it's a Murphy bed. Yeah. A Murphy bed. I love, I love. This is smart. Yeah, I, I really like this. This is nice. I like it. This is nice. It's a little bit of everything. It and is a little bit of everything. Nice, and that bed comes down. Yeah, it's a Murphy bed. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to see. This is the one with the... Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's the... But see, is that's that sleeping heavy? on paper. Like, is that a queen or... Yeah, it looks like a queen. Let's queen. measure it. Oh, <laughs> he came through. Yeah. Oh, yeah we did. <laughs> you want to be a doll and hold that for me at the end? Yes. Okay, so we got 60 inches here. And if we got 80, we got a queen. We got 73 and a half. It's a full. And so probably uh, RV queen. Yeah. Right. So standard and then there's our RV queen. So yeah. see, this wouldn't work for us. Is this one? No, these, these mattresses. Are horrible. Are horrible. <laughs> we have a forest river and yeah. we had to switch out the mattress yeah. and we got a, a brooklyn Len, a brooklyn yeah. bedding yeah it, and oh, it's so wait. much thicker how's the bathroom thank you the bathroom's very big actually. yeah let me take the gander at it that's me <laughs> oh my god we got a lot of room for underwear The door is smart. You know, I like this bathroom better than ours. Oh my god. <laughs> this one has room to dance. <laughs> See, this is nice. The kiddos room here. Vodka. And when his padrino comes over, <laughs> smells, smells nice. The purple fell too. That's, That's probably the bathroom. bathroom. That's tiny. It's the smallest hours. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is small. Look at the job done, I guess. It does. I like the fridge. It's got a microwave and an oven. Fridge. This fridge is fancy. And that's a big fridge. Is that the freeze freeze? Uh, it's gonna scratch a lot. It's already scratched. Wow. But nice little well, finishes. Yeah, I like it. Look, it has a fireplace. Is there more over there? Yeah, that's the master over there. Get out. This is very nice. I don't like this bed. I mean, just to sleep, I guess. Yeah. It's not bad. It's already coming apart, look. Come on, coachman, you can do better than that. They don't even have propane tanks. This one, this one looks humongous. Look how big this looks. Check it out. 
this guy is the Apex Ultra Light. It's still six, uh, close to 6,000 pounds. It's 59.75, 34 feet long. I mean, this is nice right here. Kind of tight though. It's just a sleep though, you know? What is it? Ah, uh -huh. I wasn't making a sex joke. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's this. a lot of counter space. Yes, it is. Look at that. You got bananas here. Look at this. This is nice. Waka, look at your room. Huh? You love it here, Waki? Which yeah. bed would you choose? I'll sleep on the couch in the bottom. Look at this guy over here. Okay, this is, nice. this is nice for kids. Yeah, this is nice for absolutely nice. I like the black shades. That's what we need to get in our in our trailer. Check out the bathroom. A little bathtub. Oh, a bathtub. Cute. Yes. Definitely child friendly. This yeah. Child -friendly. This is definitely for a uh, toddler. They have. A Janssen AM FM and this player has a USB connector. Small TV, I guess. This is this a slide out? It is. I mean the only thing I don't like are the finishes on the outside to be honest. It's got good pantry storage. This is probably the biggest one that they have here. So as long as we go ahead and show you what's going on. See they have some hooks and clips over here. Oh, just hooks. This looks nice. I mean, this is their better, better Airstream, I guess. This pulls out. I guess you can take it outside for an outside shower. Just in case. Three burner oven. A small, small fridge. But it's not a bad fridge. We're trying to, uh, and I mean that's not a, not that big of a fridge, but it is not bad. Uh, let's go to the bedroom. The bedroom looks like a lot of fun. Like, look how cute this looks. It does look nice, right? It doesn't look too big, though. but it looks nice. The bedroom doesn't yeah. look that bad. Definitely has aesthetics. Oh, right here. It's uh. Has more storage right here. Nice. nice. And they're deep, but. Uh, here's the TV. Definitely a one-person situation. You have to back up. Bathroom is in there, I imagine. Uh, yeah, just the just the toilet, and uh. In the sink area. Pretty big mirror. There's Waka. Check out the shower. Check this out. This is a shower right here. Oh, it's spacious. It has a little bench. The shower is not bad. It has what? Shave legs? Yeah, it has like a little bench where you can like put your legs to shave. Oh. And what is this? Uh, Just storage, more storage. Yeah. Some storage mm. up here. Yeah. And here. Just let me see this. I mean, what can you possibly fit there? I don't know. Cereal. Cereal. <laughs> um, this one. Here's where the cereal is. Not bad. Some more storage here. Yeah. yeah. It's um. One? It's not big enough for us. No. Okay, you ready? Just price yeah. point is. Uh, yeah, that price point and it weighs too much. How much does it weigh? Uh, this is the 56 dry, 73 when it's packed. Wow, that's good. That's that's nice, nice. <laughs> nice, nice sitting around it. A lot of people fit around it.
to burn our stove. I love the blackout. Storage on top. I love the blackout stuff. It should be nice and dark in here. A lot of storage in there. You gotta find a trash bin because I smell it. What do you think, Cliff? I don't mind like chicken pies too small. Storage here. This becomes the bed. But we know how uncomfortable that will be, so. Just putting all those guys together. This is an emergency exit. Some more storage on top there. Storage over here. Some more storage here. I mean, they make good use of the space. Yeah. And bathroom. I didn't even open the bathroom. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a wet bath. Yeah, of course. It's too small. Super small. I don't even know what that thing is there. Oh, so that's just your rinsing off. Very much. It really has no storage for like clothes and stuff. Really? I mean, folded here has a lot. And these ones are deep. They go all the way back. The dinette is really the curious piece of the, whole, of the whole thing. I like the blackout. Yeah. That's nice. Let's see the other guy. This there has the bottom anchors, but that one doesn't. This is probably the main, main steps. Storage here, all the way through. Oh, nice. Big sitting area. TV, fireplace, island, the benches, looks like a full stove, big oven, nice little coffee bar, lots of storage, full fridge. What do you think? Twin pulling. Nice. It Not looks bad, like a right? house, yeah. I like the oven. I like the fridge. Yeah. Because does it have a dishwasher underneath there? No. No dishwasher. No. Really? Nice pantry. There's a bunk bed up there. What's that? Oh, there we go. I think that's just more storage. Mm. Oh, this is a toy hauler. Mm -hmm. Your car out here. Mm -hmm. A mini car or something. A Mercedes. <laughs> a sedan, maybe. A half bath. Bathroom. Half bathroom. Mm -hmm. Glass door. Uh, oh, has a sitting area up there because you can bring that down. Sort of balcony situation going on here. The awning. This is a master bedroom. Nice little lamp. Oops. Master bathroom, sink and shower. Shower looks nice. Master bathroom. This, this, I mean bedroom. This is definitely a king. A lot of closet space. Lots of closet. Definitely gonna fit a ton of clothes in here. For the price of 125? It's not bad. No, it's bad. Yes. 
<laughs> really? Yes. This is for you to travel to your campsite in comfort. Yeah. This is this is for sitting and storing things. This is like sit in the back. Yeah, this is your going to a hotel or a lodge. Oof. Let's go to RV that you rather. Since you have 300,000 RV. Yeah, this is for you're going somewhere. You're not sleeping here. Yeah, this is. Uh, this seems to be the most popular one here. It's a 2023 Accolade XT32U. It only costs $254,988 at 34 feet long. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and uh, give some folks the opportunity to step out and then we're going to go in with our pterodactyl. <laughs> step, 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 Wow. 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 This is huge. This is very nice. Well, these couches look great. They have seat belts on them. A lot of storage space up here. That looks nice over there. Um, yeah, it's small. It's not that bad. It's got a pretty nice TV. I guess this goes up and down here as well. All right. I almost broke that myself. Um, oh, look, it's got a little thing right here. Oh, it's it doesn't. It has a electric oven. Electric ovens right there on that that fridge looks massive not bad oh and it's on it must have been on forever wow it's pretty big pantry oh cereal definitely fits there two boxes for each of us and more cereal Oh, it's got a nice mirror. I don't have boobies anymore. It's got this guy over here. It's got this right here. Oh, look at this. This one opens up. There's more storage there. They have a bar over there. Would this be the bathroom? Okay. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's nice. Nice, nice. Over here. And this looks like a oh man, this looks like a queen. That's king. It's a king? Oh, it's a it's a king. Really? Yeah. Just like maybe an, an RV. Maybe an RV king? I don't think they make RV kings. Nope. It's a king. It's a king. The one that at home looks bigger. <laughs> yeah. The one that we had at home was like humongous. Yeah, but maybe just because it doesn't have the frame California and everything. Yeah. We had a California king, my love? No, we had a regular Impossible. king. Cool. Either that or or he was, he was a, maybe it looks small because it's in a smaller place. It's perspective. Yeah. And you're looking at it from the corner. I think if you were able to stand further away from the foot of the bed and shoot yeah. back, you would see it. That's a what, 52 inch screen? I'd be lying to you, but I think you're, you're in the ballpark for sure. I'm yeah. in the ballpark. Yeah. Just nice. Sure. I could buy that. Yeah, and, it's, and it goes down. I smell yeah. it. Yeah. It's a televator. Yeah, I still smell it. Couldn't That's the it. formaldehyde. What that does is make the glues dry slower, yeah. thus they bond better. Yes. So they've tried to get away from it and stuff doesn't stay together It doesn't anymore. stay. Yeah, I know. I used to be in the car industry. Not the RV industry, but the, okay. the car industry. You know what I want to try since you've tried them all? Oh, yeah. Try I want to try the captain's chair. You want to give me a shot over here? This, you better be a contortionist to go for <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. That's what I do in my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people will just go out this door and go inside. <laughs> do I like it? Do I not like it? It's basically a truck up there. I mean, it's the it uh, is. It's a, it's a, Hi, come on over. I'm, I'm touring all 50 states. <laughs> all of them. 49? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll wait for you in the next stop. You want to close the door? The AC is coming out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man.
we saw a lot of vehicles. There's the class A's, there's the class B's, there's the class C's, there's the fifth wheels, there's the sprinter vans, there's a, a couple of Airstreams, but it all depends on what you're in the mood for, what your vehicle can tow, and uh, what your pockets look like, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you should definitely come to the Houston RV show. And it's here at the NRG Center. And this is the 2023 Houston RV show. Fucking sleeping, so he didn't enjoy any of it. But we did, it was nice. We didn't even get to see all of them, to be honest with you. It's so many, it's so many. It's uh, You gotta come here with a plan to see specific types of RVs. If you wanna see like fifth wheels, then there's sections of fifth wheels. If you wanna see like toy haulers and there's just sections of that but you can't possibly see all of them here you can't <laughs>